Paula Clifford says she should be dead. The mum from Leicester delayed having her smear test for three years, and when she did get round to it, her body was running out of time. I thought, I'm going to die, and what about Josh and Morgan, my children? You know, who's going to look after them, what's going to happen to them? Just telling them everything. My world did crash. It was like I ran into a wall. Um, nothing has ever felt like that. It was the worst feeling in the world as a parent. It's four years since Jay Goody died from cervical cancer. The headlines her case made prompted a surge in smear test appointments, but it was temporary. One of the country's lead researchers has told Five News one in five women are not going for their tests. That's more than a million women. Following the tragic death of Jay Goody, there was a dramatic increase in the number of ladies attending four smears. Typically, the ladies who had put off and or forgotten about attending for their smears. However, this effect was short-lived and within uh, months or a year, the numbers had fallen back to their previous levels. Josh, Josh seemed to get through it, but I think it hit him later on, mm. so I've been operated on. Early diagnosis is the key, but even late diagnosis can have a happy ending. So what would your advice be to women watching Do this? Do not put it off. It is the ridiculous thing that I did, the most stupid thing I've ever done. Um, because I didn't need to go through what I went through. Mm. So if I'd gone, when my appointment came through, if I'd gone through it to that appointment, could have prevented a lot of things, and a lot of heartache mm. from what I went through. Cancer, any cancer, has a cruel habit of ripping the hearts out of families, including mine. Ten years ago, my mum, Jane Viger, died from cervical cancer. She'd gone for all the tests, but by the time it was picked up, it was way too late. She was 58 years old. It shouldn't have happened to my mum, and Wellbeing of Women is the charity trying to ensure it doesn't keep on happening. Which is why I'm running for them in the London Marathon. Thousands of runners will be raising millions of pounds for charities close to their hearts. As the marathon's organisers say, everyone who crosses the line on Sunday is a winner. Simon Viger, 5 News.